Hello friends. Today we are going to determine the value of Boltzmann constant using VI characteristics of P and diode. So to do this experiment, we require a breadboard, a power supply, a DC voltmeter, a DC ammeter, a diode, and some connecting wires. And here is the circuit diagram which we require. to make on this breadboard so in this circuit you will notice that whatever part of the circuit we will complete on this breadboard that part in this circuit will be highlighted so here we start so in the first step we are going to connect the positive of power supply to the horizontal line of breadboard and then we connect the negative of the power supply to another line on the breadboard we have done this because for our experiment at any part of this breadboard we can take positive or negative of this power supply so one thing you can notice that the intensity of battery in this circuit has changed so this is an indication that we have connected our power supply or battery now we take this diode we know that the left side of this diode is p and the right side having gray mark on the diode is n side of the diode so we place this diode on the breadboard and now we know that this vertical line is connected to p side of the diode and this vertical line is connected to the n of the diode and now we will connect the positive of our power supply to the positive of the diode after that we will connect the negative of our diode to the positive of dc ammeter after that we need to close this circuit by connecting the negative of dc ammeter to the negative of power supply so we connect this to the negative line of the power supply on the breadboard as we can see in the diagram that voltmeter is in parallel to the diode so we connect this voltmeter in parallel to the diode positive of the voltmeter to the p side and negative of the voltmeter to the n side now in the next step we are switching on our power supply and start our experiment in this experiment we will increase the voltage from this regulated power supply and will observe the dc voltage across the diode and the current passing through the diode using dc voltmeter and dc ammeter so we need to make a table of it so in this table you will write down the value of voltage and the corresponding current this is the diode characteristics in forward bias now to note down its characteristics in reverse bias we can switch the orientation of this diode now you can see that we have switched the p and n side of the diode and the second thing we need to change is that the dc ammeter is of micro ampere range this is just because because in reverse bias the value of current is quite low so to observe that we need a micro ammeter for this as well we will vary the applied voltage and will observe the corresponding current in dc ammeter and will make a table of it after that when we plot the forward and reverse bias characteristics of this diode this will look like this so here is the forward bias character and here is the reverse bias character of this diode so this graph explains the diode characteristics after that we need to calculate the boltzmann constant using these diode characteristics so to determine boltzmann constant the first step we should know that the vi characteristics in forward bias are explained by this equation so in this equation so is is a reverse saturation current q is the charge on the electron v is the applied voltage n is a constant whose value is 1 for germanium and 2 for silicon 
K is Boltzmann constant and T is the temperature at which we are conducting this experiment. Now from basic experimentation we know that the value of this exponential part is of the order of 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 8. So we can easily neglect this minus 1 from here and can use this equation without this one. After that we take natural logarithm on both sides. If we compare this equation with the linear equation we will find that the slope of this line is equal to q by nkt. To determine the Boltzmann constant first we need to modify our forward bias table a little bit. So in this earlier we have observed current in milliampere. Now we will also calculate the current in ampere and will take natural logarithm of this current value in the fourth column. After that we will plot this curve in which along x-axis we have voltage and and along y-axis we have natural logarithm of current. So you will obtain this value on negative y-axis. So I am plotting it like this. Now we need to calculate its slope. So we draw two perpendicular lines and then we calculate the slope AB by BC. Now using the formula we obtained earlier, we can determine the value of K. So the value of Boltzmann constant is equal to Q divided by NT into slope. So slope we determine from here, the value of N is 1 for germanium and 2 for silicon. T is the temperature at which we are conducting this experiment in Kelvin and Q is the charge on electron. So in this way, we can determine the value of Boltzmann constant. So as we know, the value of Boltzmann constant is 1.38 10 to the power minus 23 joule per Kelvin. So we can also calculate the percentage error in the value obtained by us. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and share my video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.